Very good morning. It's Penny Wild, the Black Pen. Very sad news we heard last night. Um, close friend of mine sent me the front page of the Sunday World, stating that Uvosi Tembeguayo has been accused of gender-based violence. Um, I obviously wasn't sure at the time whether it was photoshopped or fake news. Um, I then went on Twitter and I saw that two other people had posted the same thing last night. And then within a few minutes from that from that uh, moment, uh, Vusi Tembewayo posted a response on, on his Twitter um, stating that uh, his wife has been um, struggling with substance abuse, uh, that there was an issue that was happening, a family uh, situation that was happening, which was private. Uh, how he's always kept his family private. Um, he also mentioned that he'd been to court in the past week uh, to deal with, with this matter. People had commented say, saying that um, Uvusi was being convenient in stating that his wife struggling with substance abuse, something he's never said before. And someone else was saying that nothing in his in his statement was saying that he didn't hit her. You know, so I'm I'm making this hopefully short video just to cover this introduction um, to these allegations. Um, understanding that hopefully over the coming days, maybe coming weeks, there will probably be further developments uh, regarding this case. Vusi Tembewa is obviously a, a much-loved motivational speaker, mind um, in South Africa, and now he's a, a company owner. He's an, an investor, venture capitalist, uh, owning my growth fund. Um, I've made videos about him before in the past. Um, he's inspired me very much uh, with a lot of his content. He's very intelligent. I'd like to think he's very caring. He loves South Africa. Um, I think he's trying to make a mark in the world and become a leader in his own right. He's called out Saul Ramaphosa and other leaders to do better. Um, people have bashed him as they bash a lot of motivational speakers that these guys make money, not by selling anything more than hope, like a pastor, for example. You know, so this is very unfortunate because he's, he's a brilliant black man that seems to be doing great things. He has kept his family out of the spotlight very well, which is normally very difficult for celebrities. But he is now following uh, a line of a lot of specifically black men who have been accused of violence in this country um, in various ways. Last week, we had Uchub Jub being accused of rape by Amanda Dupont. We still have to see how that case uh, progresses. Um, we had a situation, I think, if not this year, last year, uh, Okatlejo, who was the face of Outsurance and was also a presenter on TV show uh, Espresso on SABC3, who was in effect cancelled because his partner, I'm not sure if it's his wife or his girlfriend, made a video of him and got him to confess that he cheated, given her an STI, and even got him to say the name of the lady that he slept with, uh, found himself getting cancelled. Lady Zama, of course, um, accusing Usjava, the, the musician, of rape. She eventually dropped the case, uh, dropped the charges. He was cancelled somewhat. We've had someone like OK Malum Kulkat, who's watched his career basically die, you know, after he was jailed. I think either in Australia or Austria, where a white lady accused him, I, I believe, of either sexual assault, sexual misconduct, or specifically rape. Um, Ex-Lions uh, coach uh, Joey Mongalo was accused as well in Australia uh, of a similar uh, act. I think he's won the case, but I think he was almost cancelled as well, and I thought his rugby career as a coach um, was going to be over with. Luckily, his wife stood by his side. He's a very devout Christian, religious man, and luckily, he, he beat that. What's going to happen with Vusi is going to be very interesting for many reasons. One of them being he's loved very much by what we call the white moneyed uh, uh, segment in South Africa. He's currently the co-chair of Silicon Cape, which was funded by Johan Rupert, amongst others. Um, I'd like to believe, but this is, this is speculation on my part, um, that um, v wealthy Rob Herzog, from the Arsof family, which was in mining, who is, who is an invest, investment uh, company owner in his own right, has invested in my growth fund. Um, he's loved, speaks very well. He gets a lot of big corporate gigs where he gets paid a lot of money to speak about sales, to speak um, about how to run business better, how to be considerate, investing in the green economy, etc. If they are going to protect him the way they have protected uh, other favored black men in the past who have had unfavorable things happen to them. Those who may not be aware, we saw it in the movie uh, Long Walk, 
to freedom uh, with Idris Alba. Nelson Mandela had beaten his ex-wife before he married Uwini Matigizela. Um, similarly, there have been um, allegations of Sil Ramaphosa beating his ex-wife as well before he married his current wife, uh, the First Lady Utsepo. Um, these guys have, have been treated with soft white gloves by the media. You know, these things get brushed to the side and no one really, really speaks about them. So it's old uh, allegations, obviously not in the age of social media, so to speak. Great men, apparently. So are we going to be seeing Vusi Tembewayo treated with soft white gloves by the white media? Uh, where they say, look, um, he has gone to court. Um, it has been said that his wife is not well. There may have been a scuffle. Uh, however, you know, he, he is a good, brilliant man who is trying to do the right thing. Or are we going to see him being cancelled like a whole lot of other celebrities have been cancelled before? You know, uh, where we see him no longer getting gigs, finding out that he's got financial problems and see him being shunned by the white media. You know, so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, Usomizi uh, Mshongo uh, is currently uh, got a case with his ex-partner, uh, Mohale Mutawung, where he was accused of various acts of violence. Um, and I think some type of coerced sexual, sexual activity. He is currently off Metro FM, currently not doing certain gigs. And it was a, according to his desire to focus on the case. We don't really know if he's been cancelled as yet. But what normally happens with cancel culture and the reason why these corporates act the way they do is because when you book someone who's been accused of something bad, your fans, your clients, all these people attack you. Why did you book that person? How dare you book an abuser? Why would you work with a rapist, etc.? So for reputational purposes, a lot of these brands, a lot of these platforms, a lot of these companies are like, you know what? We unfortunately have to distance ourselves from you in the interest of reputation. We don't want people unnecessarily attacking us. We've obviously seen Dave Chappelle in America. They've tried to cancel him. Same with Joe Rogan. It's America. It's a different animal, but these are very strong brands. And they've managed to ride through these storms and almost come out on the other side unscathed, saying things about um, homosexuals, transgenders, um, uh, COVID, um, having issues with some, some of the things that presidents, politicians, government have to say. You know, So it's going to be interesting to see how this Vusi Tembewayo case um, plans out, pans out. We're currently still under 16 days of activism in South Africa against... Uh, violence against women and children so it's just very sad that these things are happening at this time um and obviously a lot of people feel that there's a gen an agenda against black men in particular by feminists feminazis radical black feminists who apparently are funded according to the conspiracy theorists by the west white men in the west who are trying to de destroy black men get black men killed get them discredited um, get them to lose their incomes. We've had the same notions with Paul Cosby. Uh, we've had those notions way back in the past with Michael Jackson, the controversial O.J. Simpson. Um, so it's just, it's been a lot. So we don't know if Vusi Tembewa is going to be part of this list of black men who have been tainted either because they did something bad or because there are stories uh, that are not fully accurate about what he's done. But we'll see how that goes. And I'll update you as and when I can about this. Have a really, really great Sunday. I love you guys very much. Please stay safe and do the right thing. Cheers.